In this video, we're going to be covering the bartering system, possible trade locations, and item value. Bartering works by exchanging items with an NPC who is accepting trades. This is denoted by the trade icon. Different NPCs value items differently, and the market value of certain items may fluctuate during the game. So let's go over some of the trading locations. During the night phase of the game, you will have possible trading locations to head to. Locations like the military outpost and the hospital will always have a trading NPCs, as long as you have not attacked them. While other locations might have a different loadout, or might not even show up at all, such as the garage, the brothel, the school, church, and the detached house. If you aren't sure if you can trade at a certain location or not, you can always read the location tooltip to see if you can. The other trade NPC is Franco. He may visit your house as a random encounter at 10 a.m. each day. To find out how much an NPC values a certain item you're bartering with, you just have to mouse over or select the item. It'll give you a flavor text at the bottom of the window, giving you an estimate of the item value. There's a base value for every item, but I'm not going to be listing them in this video. Instead, you can look below to check the value of each item, if you so desire. But, to give you a general idea of the value of the common items in the game, from lowest to highest, there'll be components, raw food, jewelry, canned food, bandages. As I've mentioned earlier, certain NPCs value items differently, such as the NPC at the garage values medication and bandages more than the others. This also means there are certain items NPCs will not accept. Again, using the garage example, the NPC at the garage will not accept components as they have an abundance of them. The market value of certain items also fluctuates into high demand. You could determine this by listening to the radio. As a general rule, you lose some item value during a trade. This means you cannot make a one-to-one -one trade, such as trading one piece of wood for one piece of wood is not possible. As a final tip, I normally trade away any excess medical supplies, since the hospital will heal you for free. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below.